What's going on guys? Brandon Havrillo from Red Max Events. Welcome back to the channel. I'm super excited for today's video because I'm showing you one of my favorite new products in the iPad photo booth industry. <laughs> If you guys have not seen it already, the roaming photo booths or the handheld iPad photo booths have been a huge hit in the photo booth industry. I can't wait to get the Mobile Max 2.0 out on events along with the Curve Duo. I'm planning on offering a package as well where we can roam the party during a cocktail hour and then place the roamer on the Curve Duo to use it as a standalone booth during the reception. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the Mobile Max 2.0 and the Curve Max Duo from Max Photo Booth Design. Now the Mobile Max 2.0 is a handheld roaming photo booth and the Curve Max Duo is a stand for the Mobile Max 2.0, allowing you to easily roam around the party and then place your roamer on a kiosk and make it a standalone photo booth. This also gives you the option to just use it as a standalone ring light photo booth should you need for an event. Now these items are sold separately along with the SKB cases that Max Photo Booth Design has to offer. However, you can also purchase a bundle and get the Roamer, Curve Max Duo stand, extra accessories, and the case should you want to purchase a package. Now, if you're looking for more information on these booths or other booths that Max Photo Booth Design offers, or if you're just looking for pricing or to place an order, you can visit their website, which I'll leave down below. Now let's dive into some of the specifics of the Mobile Max 2.0. The Mobile Max 2.0 is also available in a mini version, and the mini version fits an iPad mini, although it is important to note that the mini version is not compatible with the Curve Max Duo stand, so that would just be if you want to roam around an event. It's super lightweight, even lighter than the Mobile Max 2.0. When purchasing a Mobile Max 2.0, you have three options for the faceplate, which is the piece of acrylic around the iPad itself. You can get it in black, white, or mirror. I'm also going to note that the Mobile Max 2.0 does not include the iPad or the charger. I do recommend that you use the original Apple charger as it does work best with the Mobile Max. Now the Curve Max Duo gives you a hybrid option to use it both as a roamer and a standalone photo booth. Features a quick release system where the Mobile Max easily slides in and out of the top. What's really cool about this is you could actually turn the Mobile Max 90 degrees and put it into the Curve Max Duo, allowing you to set the Mobile Max in landscape mode. You also have the option to purchase an Ape Labs coin to light up the Curve Max Duo, and that could easily be used as your attract color to attract attention to your booth while leaving the Mobile Max on a bright white LED. On the back side of the Mobile Max, you have your button, which is conveniently placed for your thumb to press it to cycle through the different modes. You have your attract mode, which as seen here is a color chasing mode to attract your guests attention to the booth. You then have your pure white mode, which is going to be a bright white LED to provide the best picture quality. And then lastly, you have your sharing mode, which you could set to a dimmer color so that it's not blinding out your guests when they're sharing their picture, sending it to print, or adding filters and fun digital props. You also have access to your power button on your iPad, vents to keep everything cool, thumb screws to get access to the back panel, and your power cord that comes out of the back of the unit. If you are purchasing just the Mobile Max, you could purchase a soft padded bag, which allows you to place the Mobile Max inside along with accessories and protect it with the included cut foam. This case is super convenient, lightweight, and small to travel with. Now a super cool feature with the Mobile Max is that he has a app on the App Store called Max LED. You could simply download it to all the iPads that you put in your photo booths, so you don't need an external phone or computer to change the colors of the ring light. Not only can you change the attract color, but you can also adjust the other two modes, as well as the brightness levels for all three modes independently. As I mentioned, the app is available on the App Store, super easy to use. You could simply select the mode that you would like for the attract screen and adjust the colors and the brightness settings right inside. The Max LED app is awesome and here's why. Say you're doing a holiday party with the Roamer, you could simply go in and set the colors to green and red so that it looks like a holiday party Roamer. If you're doing a themed event and you wanna match the event's theme, you could do so as well simply by doing it in the app. I'll also leave a link down in the description below on the battery pack I recommend if you are running the Mobile Max on a battery. Installing the iPad on the Mobile Max 2.0 is very simple. You simply unscrew the six thumb screws on the back of the unit, giving you access to lift off the back of the unit. Once open, you'll notice you have access 
to plug in the USB Apple charging cord and place your iPad as well. Now the Curve Max Duo, along with all the photo booths from Max Photo Booth Design, are made of a durable PVC plastic. This allows the booths to be super lightweight, 100% waterproof. It gives them a nice glossy finish on the outside. And as I mentioned, they're extremely durable. In fact, Max Photo Booth Design, right on their website, has a picture of a pickup truck parked on one of them. Now the Curve Max Duo has acrylic panels that Velcro into the front and the back so they could simply be taken off for easy access to assemble and disassemble the Curve Max Duo, as well as run any needed power cables inside, as well as access to place the Ape Labs coin inside should you wanna light it up to attract attention. If you do get one of the Ape Labs lights to light the column of the Curve Max Duo, I recommend getting one of these Beston battery packs. They're super thin, and the Curve Max Duo has enough room underneath to slide the battery pack under. It also has a built-in magnet, perfectly cut to fit the Ape Labs coin, which you can simply clip right in the bottom of your booth. And like I mentioned, the USB cable can be plugged in with the battery pack under the booth. If you're interested in that particular battery pack, I'll have a link down in the description, which will take you right to Amazon where you could purchase it. And as you can see with the Ape Labs coin remote, you have plenty of control over the photo booth colors, brightness, and music modes. Now the Curve Max Duo, along with Danny's other booths, have a simple latch design, which allows you to detach the latches inside and slide the booth out like so. The Curve Max Duo itself breaks down into four pieces. You have the base plate, the bottom section, the top section, and then the tilting head portion. The tilting top allows you to adjust where the camera angle is. If you are purchasing the Curve Max Duo, you also have the option to purchase a hard shell SKB case to store the Curve Max Duo and the Mobile Max 2.0 in the same case. This is a durable, water resistant SKB case, which also has wheels on it for easy transportation. And it comes with all the customized cut foam to safely protect and transport your investment. When you do purchase the complete package, it also comes with some accessories, which includes a power supply and turnaround to power your Mobile Max, as well as a DC extension cable. If you are taking it as a Mobile Max with a battery pack, it allows you to extend that power source to put the battery in your pocket. Lastly, it includes a small wrench, and an Allen key to adjust and tighten some of the key components of the Curve Max Duo. With that said, these tools are not needed for assembly. The Curve Max Duo gets assembled completely using the included latches. Now assembling and deassembling this photo booth is super easy. You're gonna to wanna to start by removing the Mobile Max itself. Then you're gonna start with the tilting portion of the kiosk, lift the two latches and pull the top piece out. You're then going to lift the latches on the middle section and lastly, the two latches that separate the base plate from the bottom section. The SKB case has plenty of room to fit the Mobile Max, the full kiosk, as well as accessories such as your ape coin and cables. You could simply remove all of the protective foam and the components of the booth itself. You've got the base plate and you've got the three sections of the Curve Max Duo. I've been using Photo Booth from Max Photo Booth Design for a long time. So as soon as he released these items, I knew I had to get my hands on them. They're super lightweight, super easy to use, and I absolutely love having them in our inventory. The Mobile Max 2.0 is only three pounds, including the iPad, so it's extremely light. My attendants love it because it doesn't tire out their hand. It's easy to walk around with, and by using the included extension cable, you can put the battery in your pocket to keep the weight down. The roaming photo booths are always a huge hit at the events because they could roam the dance floor, roam the cocktail hour, roam a festival, sporting event, whatever it is. They're a great addition to add to your photo booth arsenal to offer your clients a unique experience. Thank you guys for checking out this video. As I mentioned, if you're interested in purchasing any of these products, visit the link down below. If you guys don't already, make sure you follow me on Instagram. It's at Brandon Havrilla. If you enjoyed this video, if it helped you in any way, leave me a thumbs up down below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on that bell so you get notified when I post new content. As always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.